Obviously, I play game a lot um, in high school and university. Earning a business degree didn't keep him from gaming. And by the late 90s, internet use here was on the rise, which gave Min an idea, one that would turn his hobby into a job. I see this opportunity in internet gaming. So in terms of like, you know, the new generation of gamer who not just playing offline game on PC, but playing connected internet game over the network. So men and four friends met at an internet cafe like this one. Their plan? To build a game and a company. Back in 2004, it's very hard to find money, to find people who know how to run business, let alone by people who know about running an internet or technology business. That year, they launched a single title, and gamers took notice. Soon, profits were soaring. And Min's company, now called VNG, quickly grew into one of the biggest game developers in Vietnam. This game, Dead Target Zombie, has 150 million global downloads, they say. Eventually, VNG expanded into cloud services, mobile payments, and also developed Zalo, a popular chatting platform that now has 55 million active users a month more than half the population in this country of 95 million people. We feel that we be able to do a lot of cool things. I mean, that's, that's basically all the technology people uh, dream, right? Today, the company has a new 52,000 square meter campus designed to feel like Silicon Valley, with yoga studios, a gym, and of course, ping pong. Now it hopes to expand its user base to over 300 million by 2023. Vietnam already one of the most technology savvy countries in the world. The challenge is whether in the next 10 or 15 years it becomes one of the most digitally enabled country in the whole world. I mean, that is, you know, our hope and dream. Vietnam's government wants the same with ambitious plans to have 10 tech unicorns, startups valued at over $1 billion by 2030. Newer companies like Apata are now raising hopes that the wider ecosystem is growing. It also develops mobile platforms. When we first started, Apata was valued at 1 million US dollars. After eight years, it's now valued at nearly 100 million US dollars. So progress has been made in eight years. Of course, not every startup story has a happy ending. Apatha's CEO launched several businesses that failed before this one, he says. I feel that the only challenge is that it's still hard to get funding for a startup. There are very few resources for funding a startup. In reality, the number of startups in Vietnam that actually get funding are not as high as I would hope for. Min says funding is growing, but startups here need more. Compared to five years ago, the investment scene in Vietnam has become a lot more exciting and dynamic, but still relatively compared to other countries in regions like Singapore or Indonesia, we still have a major gap behind. As for VNG, Min just hopes his company's rapid rise continues. Our success story proved that Startup in Vietnam can become a global company. We can build product for global market. We can grow our standard to the global market. And we look at global market as the playground.